Ladies and gentlemen, what a treat in store that I have for you here in the beautiful Mandalay Estate in Beveridge. This gorgeous, once-off home, Porter Davis built, 50 squares of living, this sensational four plus, three plus, three car, gorgeous home here, as I said, in Mandalay. I'm really excited to show you this home, 22 Hillcrest Road. My name's Adriano Persichetti. Let's go check this home out. I know you will love it. So the home itself, um, with the help, of course, with Porter Davis, um, we've had the owners, uh, Paul and Sue, have done some changes to the home. Little things to, I guess, pick up. Uh, so they've added on the third garage. So that third garage sits the little golf buggy that they've bought that you can have to live the Mandalay lifestyle, to drive around the estate. And of course, they back on to the golf course as well, which you'll check out. We'll head on in. Custom built fly screens. Come through, George. So, lots of wow factor around this home. And like I said, I'm really, really excited to show you. You come on in to the formal lounge. You know the lounge that never gets used? Well, this is that. It is huge. Uh, Paul and Sue actually went to the extent of extending the lounge room an extra one and a half meters to give the size of what it is today. As you can see, it's massive, beautiful plush carpets, um, LED lighting as well. Gorgeous place to, I guess, entertain your friends. You've got triple, as I said, gar car garage access through the doors. Plenty of cars in there. Oh, you know what? Might be locked, hopefully it's not. We'll take it quickly through so you can have a look. So quick peek, double plus the extra garage space. There's the buggy that I was telling you about that unfortunately doesn't come, that's Paul's baby. There is access as well behind the buggy into the back. It's fully concreted and paved, so it's all low maintenance through there. So that's obviously the triple car garage. I just want George just to show you those beautiful staircases. Hardwood timber floors glass balustrades, gorgeous. But we'll get upstairs in a bit. Lots to see in this home. So this was the other thing. So on the original plan, um, this was a, a powder room. They've made this into a full bathroom. Double shower, as you can see. Double shower with beautiful rain head as well. Plenty of space, toilet, vanity. The reason why they've done this is when we go through this way, we'll come back to the laundry. This on the original plan was a study, but they've made this into a bedroom. And this is, believe it or not, this is the smallest bedroom and it's huge. Uh, this is a queen size bed, as you can see. Uh, the other thing too to note is the mesh grills are actually on all the windows as well. You've got beautiful double built-in robes, so glass double built-in robes with as you can see, plenty of storage space as well. So that's this is the reason why they've done the full bathroom. So it gives people that want to reside downstairs, they don't have to go upstairs to use the bathroom. They've got a fully functioning bathroom downstairs. George is going to whip around this way. And we want to show you this gorgeous laundry. Plenty of space, lots of bench space, lots of big, deep drawers. So... As you can see, nice big deep drawers. They guys put them the shelves in as well, as you can see, but plenty of cupboard, like cupboard space galore. Um, so here is the space obviously for the washer, but there is also here the space where you can actually fit the dryer as well. The guys have got a nice little bar fridge, little pantry, uh, sorry, um, laundry drawer. And again, Plenty of storage. The one thing I want to highlight, Paul and Sue have gone to the point of actually getting power installed. So that obviously with the way that vacuum cleaners are these days, with your stick vacuums, you can actually have them in here on charge 24 seven. Let's keep going. To me, this is what you're buying or one of the main features of this home, guys. Have a look at the downstairs, kitchen, meals, living, indoor and outdoor zone. We'll start with the kitchen. So the kitchen, gorgeous. Oversized bench, 
40 mil stone. They've added on this feature of the breakfast bar as well. Just little things like the, actually, the beveled edges on the stone. It's beautiful. The cabinetry has been obviously chosen from a display home. You know, just the beautiful craftsmanship of the two-pack, and it's all two-pack. Um, it's gas ovens, so they've got dual ovens, Westinghouse ovens, so just so you can see, they're 700 mil. These ones were actually shipped down from Sydney because I couldn't get this size gas oven. So one there and obviously one over here. Plenty of cupboards, like all beautifully organized, of course. Nice, big, deep drawers. Um, there's Fisher & Paykel gas cooktop and also Fisher & Paykel double drawer dishwasher as well. So as you can see there, again, we're going to flip around this way to the butler's pantry. So again, they've spared no expense. So they've generally, with a lot of the other homes that we sell, timber tops replace the stone. No, stone. Stone, deep sink. Something just slammed. The window, as you can see, plenty of an L-shaped bench. You got a walk-in pantry, all beautiful and neat. As you can see, plenty of storage space for all your goodies. Uh, we're going to pan back this way, so you've got a separate dining zone. Now, what that's all that slam was. So this is quite a wide ten-seater table. Um, this is perfect, actually, for this space. Um, they've even gone and gotten the extension of the kitchen. So stone, again, very rare. Spared no expense, but plenty of cupboard space all the way along. So it's just an extension of the kitchen zone. Um, panning, obviously, to your oversized lounge area. So your informal lounge area here. What's to say other than it's very, very spacious. Um, and obviously it draws you outside, which we'll show you in a second. The blinds here are all obviously, these are high-end blinds. So they become sh shade. I'm just gonna show you actually how they work. I actually was shown the other day. So they pull up. Um, oh, no. oh, there we go. So to wind them down, as you can see there. So you can have them like that. You can block them out. And then to, to go up, or you just do like that. Which I think are actually really cool. So these are more high ends. Let's wind them all up, just so you can get that feel as well. Again, all openable windows, all custom mesh. Uh, the fully enclosed alfresco. So this was another add-on uh, that Paul and, Sid, uh, Paul and Sue did. Um, the beautiful mesh louvers. So these are aluminium louvers that can be fully openable. So you can actually have this whole space fully open as well, but you can also make it fully enclosed. Two dual stainless steel fans as well, just to show you the doors like this to make them fully enclosed. And they're all uh, double glazing windows as well. To open them up. And have a look out here. Beautiful, green, low maintenance garden. That's actually the golf course, which you'll get a better view from upstairs. The smell out here from the trees and the grass and the bark, it's, it's beautiful, really is. Uh, full paved to the side, as you can see. Again, it's all low maintenance, just to give you a, a sheer size of the actual house as well. We'll come away around this way as well. So they've gone again to the extent of uh, concreting the whole pavement and obviously painted. Um, this is the access that I was telling you about before, guys, that you've got from the garage. Um, and again, low maintenance. So they've tiled that to use to the flow in, into the alfresco zone and everything else is low maintenance paved, which is phenomenal. So this is the downstairs, guys. Um, we're gonna go uh, things like sensor lights, as you just saw that pop on as well. Um, so this is obviously your downstairs quarters. What we're going to do, even little things like this, you know, power on the outside of the benches, 
just these little things that the, the, the guys have done um, to add value to the home as well. Um, as I said, there is central heating, it's refrigerated cooling and central heating. Um, doorbell with picture viewer as well. Let's go upstairs. So we already showed you bedroom, bathroom, living downstairs. Uh, two living zones, I should say, front and the rear. So upstairs, we're gonna go this way, first and foremost, into the master suite. And this is the door that actually slammed because of the wind. So come through, first thing I wanna show you is out here. Beautiful balcony, overlooking the streetscape. You actually get a nice view from up here, George, when you can have a look. That's the ice drink truck that's coming. Um, but beautiful views of hillsides and mountaintops as well. And the ice cream truck's coming, look, just over there. There it is. But let's get back to the home because that's what we're all about. Um, so this is the master. So as you can see, so the guys have gone, this is a queen bed. You could comfortably fit king or even a custom super, super size king in this room. Plenty of space. Things like the plantation shutters as well, which is gorgeous. Again, climate controlled from up here in the master bedroom as well. Have a look at this. This is what bathrooms should be. His and her sinks. You've got a powder table for those women out there that like to do their hair. Double shower again, beautiful rain head. Again, they've spared no expense. Separate toilet that you can do your business, close the door. And then a fabulous walk-in pantry, oh, walk-in pantry, walk-in robe, I should say. Everything is well organized, it's very spacious. Double hung, place for your shoes, gorgeous. And let's now go check out the other bedrooms. As the guys downstairs are getting some ice cream. All right, so here you're gonna have uh, so that was bedroom two, this is bedroom three and four. Let's go into bedroom three first. Um, and as you can see, another massive room. They're all oversized rooms. This is a, again, a queen size bed, um, but you could comfortably fit a king. Two singles for two kids if you want. Again, the built-in robes, as you can see, plenty of space, hanging space and storage space. Just little details like, you know, the little bevel doors. It's, it's gorgeous. On all the doors actually, even these external doors as you can see. We'll shoot through this way. Bedroom number four. Again, queen size bed, beautiful size rooms, gorgeous natural lights, the plantation shutters again, built in robes again are here. The central bathroom through here. So this one, if you can see, look at the Use of the golf course from your bathroom, which is actually kind of cool. Just through there, George, if you can get that through there. How cool is that? Awesome. So you've got, again, one and a half shower. You've got a beautiful bathtub here. Double vanity again. Stone bench tops again. Just little extra things that they've done. Now, brace yourselves. The upstairs living and games room. Have a look at this. So, initially on the plan, um, we'll quickly show that. We'll show this side first. So initially on the plan, this was a wall where this was the fourth bedroom, not the one downstairs. That The bedroom downstairs was the study. This was a fourth bedroom. So if you wanted to, you could make this into a fifth bedroom because there's already provisions here for built-in robes. So they've made a little tea room, tea spot here with a bar fridge. But as you can see, there's one and two. And they've made this into a little study, which to me makes a lot of sense. Um, again, massive lounge zone. 
Um, you've got beautiful views of the golf course again from up here. Double hung windows as well. So that's the view of the golf course. That's the views that we're looking at before from the bath. You've got uh, mesh blinds and blocker blinds as well on both windows. Um, then you've got obviously the games section over here. So I've set it up obviously with a pool table. There's a dart board. So for those of you who like darts, I haven't actually played darts in a while, but let's give it a go. Look at that, that's a two, that's no good. Um, so for kids, big families, this zone here is awesome. Again, if you're wanting a fifth or even sixth bedroom, you don't necessarily need to have this as a massive living zone upstairs because you've got already two big zones plus the alfresco zone downstairs. So you could make this home comfortably into a five or six bedroom home if you really wanted to. So for those families out there that have a big families or families with different generations, this home is perfect for that as well. Um, so that's the home guys. Um, I think we'll go downstairs, we'll do one last sort of wrap up of what we've seen. Uh, this home is perfect for small or large families um, or someone that's actually wanting to get away from the hustle and bustle of what obviously inner city or inner Melbourne has to offer, that wants that country lifestyle and still close to everything. We're 10 minutes up from Wallen. We're 15 minutes from Craigieburn. You're not too far from Donnybrook Station. You've got Wallen Station, you've got Craigieburn Station. There's buses that run through Mandalay as well for those of you with kids that need to obviously travel to school or need to travel uh, on a bus or to get that catch the train into the city. Lots of people that live out here obviously commute into town every day. But really, uh, from the CBD, with the freeways, you're talking about a 45 to 50 minute drive. It's actually not that far. And getting back to obviously selling quite a few properties in this gorgeous estate, people that buy in Mandalay love and want that lifestyle. So for anyone that's wanting to get away from the hustle and bustle, wants that country lifestyle feel, yet close to everything, this is definitely the home for you. Um, of course, Mandalay has, you've got Club Mandalay, which has pool facilities, tennis courts, gymnasium, spas, um, and of course, club winning uh, golf course as well. I've played there a few times, it's awesome. What I'd love for you guys to do, if you know anyone that is interested, please tag them in this post. Share it to your family and friends, or alternatively, if you're wanting to book your own private tour of this gorgeous home, contact me anytime as always, or you might know someone that may be interested in Mandalay that's looking at upsizing um, to a home, or you wanna know what your home is worth as well, I'd love to help. As always, contact me anytime, 0402055437. Thank you very much, guys, for taking the time and having this tour. I know this home will suit anybody out there. Love to see you at one of the Edmonton homes. Um, and thank you very much. Thanks for your time. Cheers.